this is Julian with AccessoryGeeks.com. We're back with the Samsung Fascinate and Motorola Droid X. And what we're going to do is run Linpack and Quadrant Standard benchmarks on these two phones. So we're going to go into this right now. We've uh, actually run some trial runs on these. And we've noticed that the Fascinate does perform a little faster, but it hasn't been uh, by too much. It's almost been uh, ne negligible. So here we have the results. And again, very, very close. 7.854 on the Fascinate, 7.76 on the Droid X. Similar times as well. Um, this is what we've seen in our uh, trial runs. So that's pretty interesting, given that when we did this with the Epic, it actually yielded substantially better numbers. So we'll, uh, we'll run the Fascinate against the Epic to see if that uh, yields similar results. So we're here we have quadrant standard and this should be interesting because uh, on the Epic Android X test the Epic did much much better here in terms of uh, 3D graphic performance and frames per second. And what we are seeing here is uh, both phones are taking a lot of time in the read-write. There we go. So the Droid X is moved into 3D. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see the frames per second being processed. And the Fascinate is still lagging behind on that database write thing. So um, this might be consistent with what some bloggers have been saying about um, just the performance being kind of slow and laggy. Uh, so we'll look into that. But regardless, you see the Fascinate still yields some really excellent 3D performance, some really high frames per second compared to the Droid X. And we're done. So, let me zoom out here. Eight hundred eighty-eight on the Fascinate. One thousand two hundred two hundred and twenty-two on the Droid X. Now we saw the same thing on the uh, Epic against the Droid X. Um, Quadrant Standard said it. The Droid X ran a lot better. But, as we saw, the 3D processing just wasn't there. But in terms of uh, the other benchmarks, this the Droid X does seem to perform a little better. So, um, you know, what we're going to do is try to put the Epic up against the Fascinate to see if there's any differences there. But, again, pretty solid performance by both phones. You know, both 1 GHz processors. Uh, so, nothing to... Uh, too surprising. We expected solid performance, but um, you know, the Fascinate taking so long to read and write might have some something to do with the whole lag issue. So we'll see if that has anything to any effect on that. Again, if you uh, like this video, like it on YouTube, and be sure to follow us at the Geeks here.